Hi, I'm Steve Clark, and I'm from McGrand Associates, and we're an energy auditing firm. And um, what I showed today for the Science Saturday session is um, I hope to get a couple things across. What, what goes into an energy audit? What, what do energy auditors do? What are some of the tools? This is a blower door. We depressurized this building, and we found a lot of air leaks easy to solve and, and very easy to fix. This is a thermal camera. We used this also to find where there was missing insulation. We found the ducts had air leaks. Um, so we found a lot of things we could do in this building pretty quickly to save a lot of energy. The other thing I hope people got across is energy auditors, you're paying for knowledge, objective knowledge, to solve comfort issues in the home, to cut your carbon, cut your energy, and also health and safety in the home. And so uh, most um, reputable energy auditors are overseen by national groups that ensure that we're not here to sell you products. We're here to really help you make this house more comfortable. We found, if you look in the kitchen, a lot of air leaks in the stove, uh, plumbing penetrations in the sink, and especially these hi-hats. Most likely this kitchen was very uncomfortable. Um, and these are things that can be solved very easily. The, th the final thing, um, and we also talked about, is where people can go to get some funding to do some of these things in New Jersey, whether you're a commercial business owner or, or a homeowner. The other thing we went over is how much energy houses use, and they use quite a bit of energy. I think uh, people are, should be aware of the carbon impact of how much fuel they use. A general uh, rule of thumb is between 8 and 10 pounds of carbon per dollar of energy, whether you're using gas for your car, electricity. So if you look at your energy bill and you're spending uh, $100 a month, say, that's between 800 and 1,000 pounds of carbon a month. So uh, I hope this was useful. And uh, this is Steve Clark at McGrath Associates. Thank you.